Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about hooks in Appium WebDriver IO JavaScript. Okay. Hooks is basically we have before, after, before each, after each. These are the hooks we have. Okay. One second. Yeah. Before, after and after each. What exactly these things will do? Before is nothing but it will execute for entire suit level and after means after execution of the suit it will close for all the things. Before each means it will work with each test case time. After each means if before, before closing for each test case it will work. Okay. Why this hooks is required? Imagine there are a couple of things are present in your test case every time it is opening. If you see this is the two test cases, which is vertical in the last video session time we are done. And here is like uh, this particular thing up to here, up to view. We are using to open for every time this application. Right. View up to view is common. Okay. Up to view is common then this common code we can able to execute for these two test case time means we can able to use for before each okay before each test case time we can able to use if you want to this particular like the scrolling one it will work for all the applications means all the test cases like not only appium if you go for chrome if you are go for time if you are go for some other things this is the common for all the remaining test cases. Then we can able to use for before. Before means in this suit, this particular it block, this particular script need to be executed for each time. That is a expected behavior for that particular one. Then we can able to use it. And before that, we need to close all the things. You may, uh, you may see if my last video sessions time, what I every time I'm telling, before you're running all the test cases, if there is anything open, you have to click this send or you need to clear the all the catches and all right. You need to take this here and clear all the things and again you need to keep it. This is the things I'm explaining right before you are doing anything automation side for Appium, you need to close then otherwise it will fail your test case because of it's already open in emulator. Definitely your script will be fail right. Those those cases we can able to use for after. After closing of each test case time, we can able to see whether this is cleared or not. If it is not clear, if it is not home page is not presented, then we can able to go ahead and click for that particular element to clear the all the things like that. Before each, it can it will exit for each test case time. After if you use like sorry. Uh, after each, after each, what will happen? After execution of the first test case, it will search any browser is open or any uh, things are open. Then it will clear for after each. After means after complete suit execution, nothing should not be open. It will close everything and it will put, keep it for this home page and it will close. This is the main functionality about hooks. Okay, I'm going to show you for sample uh, information here. Just I'll create for one sample. Sample test case. Sample hook.js file. Okay, here we can able to use for describe and uh, hooks. And we can able to keep it, sorry. And here we can able to inside that we can able to use for before. If you are using for real time code, we need to use for async function. Here we need to use for async function. If you are going to use for real code, I am going to show you for here dummy code. Okay. And if you use for, you need to use for async capability. And you can able to use for console.log. Before a method, 
okay and you can able to use for after then we can able to create for one function and this function can contain for console.log and we can able to say after methods sorry after suit before suit after suit then we need to use for before each even IntelliJ it will provide for before each sometimes it will not get it don't worry about it just type and go ahead okay console dot unlock and then we can able to use for before each method after each then again i'm going to use a console dot log and here we can able to say after each method okay now i'm going to make it for two it blocks one is uh, tc1 okay and here i'm going to mark it for my function okay console dot a log test case one Okay, again, again, I'm going to ask for second test case, TC2, and then function creation. And here again, I'm going to use for console.log and test case two. This is my test case. This is a sample one and don't bother about it. Okay, just a sample test case to showcasing like how it will work. Even you can able to implement your uh, real time devices also, no issue. Like uh, if you are already working with any company and any project, you can able to reuse this concept will be work without any issue. Now you can see here. A connection issue running for hook sample hook cases and it will provide some useful information as well if you are using real-time code and if you use for before and after what other things need to be executed you can able to see here right before suit is one time executed after suit is one time executed i'm just i'm copying this information okay coming to here and i'm keep it here see before is one time before each first time it is executed tc1 is executed and after each method is executed again or uh, again before method and test case two and after method then suit maybe it is a small now you can maybe we can able to see right so one time in a suit level and this one is every time in a method place this is a way we can able to work for before suit and after suit we can able to implement into our real scenario as well it will work 100 percent without any issue but you need to consideration what all the code you have to keep it into um, before each and before method and after each and after function these four functions are what exactly you want to use that is the one you have to uh, think okay if you take the scrolling this one is required for every time right every test case is required because we need to scroll up and we need to click it then we can able to use for each one 
but sometimes if this is also required for every only one time in a screen that also we can able to do it like if you are using like this now i click this one and again i need to close it. now i need to come here itself i don't want to go for home page i want to here itself after working of this particular app if i click this one and i hope my work is completed if i come to here and i need to stop here itself then that moment is required for only one time in a shoot okay in the last in after function you can able to use for this function to click and close the home page like that whether if this time is presented keep it one function to check if this is displayed then after method will be close otherwise keep on execute for backward direction to close all the apps one by one this is the format we can able to use a real time okay i hope this information help for you thank you for watching please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you